Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how we can design by using Stat Pro. So we are going to design a concrete flat slab. Here you can see that our question is a flat concrete slab is 3 meter wide and 4 meter long. It is shown in the diagram. All free edges can be considered as continuous edges. The slab has a manhole opening of 0.75 meter square as shown. The slab is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of 20 kN per meter square. Then the concrete, as you can see this the our figure, and the concrete slab is 0.5 meter thick. By using a strap program, sketch the stress distribution in the concrete slab refine your model by using a smaller mesh and comment on the value of the stress if a smaller mesh is used produce the plot of maximum and minimum stress against size of mesh so first of all what you need to do you just need to select the new project then select space and you can just make a name like i'm going to write here concrete flare slab so con Great slab slab okay then uh is meter and kilometer is okay next add beam then finish so when you finish you can see these pages so when you start to design you just need to cancel so then you can get a blank page so now you can just write here zero so when you write zero you can see there you can get a point so this is a zero point so from this point your distance is four meter as i mentioned earlier so i write here four so now you yeah, can see that we, we got another point i think that it should be four meter so now i can uh, oh, sorry i can make a add beam here first so we already make a add beam so now I can show you is it 4 meter or not okay it's 4 meter so now we need to make another line uh, it's uh, 3 meter for wide distance so okay I just uh, delete it here so now I can make another line so I need to select first then go to geometry then go to translation repeat then you just write your tree so now uh, this should be z direction so this is x direction the perpendicular is z direction and the up is y direction so make here z 3 and link steps so, okay so now i got another point 3 meter distance this y distance so i can show you the distance okay so now or this distance is 3 meter and this distance is 4 meter so we got as we mentioned that 4 meter and 3 meter so now our next point is uh, we need to make a manhole that is uh, 0 0.7 meter by 0 0.7 meter square so what we need to do we can we need to create a line uh, another line from 4 meter that is that will be a 0 0.5 meter distance so okay we can remove this distance you just click here so okay and we already select this before if you wanna uh, make another line from this distance to this distance you need to select first here or if you wanna make another line from this uh, side you need to select this point first so now i'm going to select this point and go to geometry again then go to translation repeat and you just make it two because we need to uh, two line so now there is a 0 0.75 okay so now it will be our z direction but we don't select the link steps so then okay uh, 0 0.75 right yeah 0 0.75 then okay so now we got another two line the distance is 0 0.75 if i show you the distance Yes, 0 0.75 so I just need to remove okay so now from this point we need to make another two lines uh, distance is 0 0.75 then we can get here one uh, manhole uh, 0 0.75 distance meter square 
so now you can see that our uh, this point and this point are separate so we need to make one so now you just control press control then select this point this point uh, again press control then select this point this point and this point so now you just go to geometry again and go to the translation repeat and go to here two because we, we need two line and same 0 0.75 okay so now this is our x direction before we uh, make z direction now we are going to make to another two line our uh, this x direction so everything is okay so no need to uh, select the link steps then okay okay so now you can see that we got a point i mean area 0 0.75 by 75 this is our main hole so the other point the all particular area we need to fill up by using mesh as i mentioned earlier uh, from the questions uh, you can see that uh, they, they have they mentioned already the concrete is uh, 0 0.5 meter thick then uh, by using uh, Stratpro program and uh, stress distribution concrete slab okay refine your model by using a smaller mesh right a smaller mesh and comment on the value of the strip if smaller mesh is used okay produce the plot of maximum and okay minimum so now what we need to do we need to fill up by using mesh so what you can do now okay you remember that uh, whenever it comes you need to save okay so now for uh, preparing i mean mesh you just select this generate surface machine then you select all point okay so now we already select then this select his then okay so now you can write uh, make it five on five 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 apply you can see we already create a mesh so similarly this area same like before you just select here then you will just click five 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 apply okay so similarly this okay now this area this area i mean this is not similar this area because this is too long so whenever it comes so you need to think that our this long distance you, you can write here 15 and our uh, white is 5 similar so now it would be 15 and 5 then apply okay but this area is same like this so you can make the same like before so all or should be five so, but this our manhole point so you don't need to fill up this you just fill up this point and this line and uh, another line should be same this point and this point should be same so remember what we use we use 15 by 5 then 15 by 5 by, okay so now this point okay you can see that our this direction is same distance but this direction is long distance so what you can do okay so now we can do the 5 and 10 okay should be 5 and 10 5 and 10 okay apply okay so now again this uh, should be same okay 5 10 5 10 okay but now this area is biggest so this line should be same 15 and this line would be 10 similar okay so now this point this point this point this point okay so now it will be 15 10 then 15 10 apply okay so now we already completed our mesh but you can see that inside there have beam right and we will create a hole okay so as you can so um, okay, beam cursor then i can show you we have beam so we need to delete this beam first so just make press button and okay 
so all our beam is deleted so now you can see uh, if we click the plate cursor then if I show you you can see we don't have any beam right now we have only slab so now our next point is uh, we need to go to the general then there is a thickness you can see so our thickness is 0.5 meter 0.5 meter our thickness so 0.5 meter okay so now add so then you close here then you just select all then you assign okay done so now our next point is uh, support you close then you go to the support button then you uh, before you go you can make it our okay y direction that would be great uh, before I go there I need to show something I need to uh, show you something you can see these uh, symbols and levels you just click here then we have uh, node points we didn't mention so we need to click a node points then support uh, we need to know dimension okay so apply then okay so we have node points here okay so now we need to create support uh, go to the fix button then you select all M Y M Z, then add so now we already select the support then uh, what you can do we need to uh, select this point only so yes control press then we just click here okay so then again okay so then again okay so then again okay so now we will deselect our support so now you assign okay so now we already done our support then you can close okay so now you can make it okay done so now as you can see okay so now our next thing is uh, load and definition but before I go to load and definition I need to show you something uh, that is okay then I can show you support okay and apply okay so now you can see the support okay so now uh, we need to go to the load and definition so load and definition then you can see the load case details so you go to the load case details then uh, there have a load case so you just the first is self weight self weight though you will you just write sw and self weight is uh, dead load then add then the number two is uh, we can make a live load so the live load is live as usual okay so now close you go to select self weight you add then you can select this one the self weight then it's a minus one then add okay no problem so now number two is uh, live load you again add then you just come to the plate loads plate loads then this one uh, you know the ma they mentioned already 20 kilometer per meter square so you just write here 20 kilometer per meter square okay and it should be gy so everything is okay then add okay done okay so now you just uh, make here self weight then you uh, <coughs> select all
then you make assign to select beams then assign similarly you come to the here then it's already selected so you just select assign to select players then okay so now you can see our the plate so now our next is analysis uh, it's, it's already finished it's already finished analyze screen you can see analyze screen so now you just okay add so now it's already comes part from analysis you close so almost done so what we can do we can uh, make it small for support if you want you just uh, go here and you can go here scale so we can make it 0 0.3 only 0 0.3 to make it small yeah just small okay so now what you can do uh, you just select here everything is okay so now you can analyze or analyze just save so let's see okay so zero errors and one error one warnings okay so what we can do view out full file we can go to view out full file oh, okay so now you just click here warning okay everything is okay 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 so now if you want to see uh, there have a post processing you can see the post processing you just click here post processing so then we, we need to uh, see the all for self and the library also to apply okay so as you can see so now here is you can see the reaction if you click the reaction you can see the reaction so if you want to check there is a plate button so everything is okay you just make here max absolute then we apply okay so as you can see this is our design so if you want to know more uh, to understand MQAX or MQI you can go to the help then they have open stats help and you can go to the index and you can write here plate element okay plate element okay so now you can come here so you can see the what is mx my everything is here you know the stiffness method in in finite elements we did a stiffness method for analysis too also so it's almost same like a stiffness method so this all actually uh, for our design so if you want to find out the specific you can see if you click uh, specific anyone so you can get also so what i can do i can uh, remove all node points and support uh, okay i just uh, make it support only then i just clear everything okay so now you can see so this is our actually uh, design so now if you want to see the 3d dimension uh, 3d rendered view you can see so i can zoom zoom for you so this is our actually flat slab as i told you before that for our flat slab we don't use beam here so this is our flat slab So thanks for watching these videos.